Welcome back to another AF Stadiums. We're going to keep rolling with NCAA Division I hockey here. Today we are going to take a look at the very few independent universities. Starting things off, we have the Avis Alaska Sports Complex, University of Alaska Anchorage. It has a seating capacity of 800, was built in 1978, which the exterior definitely looks like a building from 1978. Interior-wise, it's not bad, obviously on the smaller side, but it works. I like how you have the coaches' offices there kind of along the concourse overlooking the ice. Again, yeah, it's just 800 seats on one side, but... It works for Division I hockey in a lot of instances. Moving along, we have the Carlson Center, Alaska Fairbanks. It's got a capacity of 6,539, was built in 1990. I'm a huge fan of the exterior on this building. Um, I think it looks pretty great. Interior-wise, I mean, this is a minor league hockey facility that Fairbanks plays in. So you do have, you know, double-deckers on either side. You have a U-shaped lower bowl. Overall, I think it's great. Biggest thing I don't like, I wish it just had a center-hung video board that was a little newer. Moving on, we have the Northwell Health Ice Center. Um, this is home of the Long Island University. It is also home to the New York Islanders who of the NHL. This is their practice facility. Uh, it was built in 2014. Online it says it just has a capacity of 500, which is definitely a lie. I'm betting this arena probably holds closer to 2,000 since you do have seating on both sides. It is chair back on one side and then just bleachers on the other. Overall, I think it's a great little rink. You got a nice video board. It's new. Works out great. Next, we have the Centene Community Ice Center. This is home to Lindenwood University, a pretty new Division I university. Holds 2,500 people, was built in 2019, so it's the newest one of the independent schools. It is also home to the St. Louis Blues. This is their practice facility. Um, I think this is a great arena. It looks quite a bit like some of the newer arenas we looked at in my last video. You got a nice center hung, black chair back seats throughout, which looks really great. I think this is a great arena, definitely a really good arena for Lindenwood being brand new. Lastly, we have the Bridgewater Ice Arena, Stonehill College. Um, this was built in 1995, holds 1,000 people. Um, this is kind of similar to quite a few of the other ones we saw in my last video as well where you just have the team on one side and then people sitting on the other side. There's really no frills about this uh, arena. It's pretty pretty bland. Um, wish there was a little bit more like Stonehill branding, but I couldn't really find any pictures like that. It's not a bad arena. These arenas definitely work for Division One hockey if you're not that big. So it's not bad, but it's not great. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.